keeping our mind right here by focusing on the feelings and the sensations that are happening in our body. If it feels okay, touching our thumbs together at the top and gently touching the earth at the bottom of our movement. We'll start with some flexion side to side as we reach up and then exhale, tipping over to one side. So the further you reach that arm, the further you're gonna go down, inhale, rise up and exhale over to the other side. Side to side, moving with your breath, letting go of any competition this morning, expectation or judgment. Let's dedicate our practice today towards optimism not only our practice, but maybe even our day. Let's see the bright side. One more and we'll start our twists. Inhale, let's open up our wings with our thumbs pointing up. Exhale, twisting over to one side. Inhale, opening, extending, exhale, twisting. Closing our eyes or keeping them open, whatever feels nice for you. We'll put it all together. We'll take our hands up on an inhale, bring them back towards the earth, taking them back up, breathing in and tipping over to one side, all the way back up over to the other side. And then we open up our wings, twist over to one side, other side. Hands come back behind us. Let's open up into chest expansion. Nice stretch for the wrist and then take them apart and a little humble bow down, just down towards the earth. Let's bring our hands back behind us again, open up across the chest. Exhale, a little bow forward. Bringing our hands back behind us today, facing our backside. We'll bring our feet out. We're gonna do a flowing deer, warm up our hips because we are gonna do some hip stuff today. Come over to one side and then over to the other. Now our chest is open, you're massaging your backside down on the mat. You can have a lot of space between your knees so the knee comes to the heel on each side. And just see, pressing up and opening the chest, opening, inhaling. Last one, come back to our easy seat or a seated cat and cow holding our knees and rolling back into our cat and pose. The tailbone tucks under a little bit and then starting at the tailbone or the pelvis moving up and opening the jaw, our elbows back around our rib cage. Exhale, sitting back into your cat. Inhale, opening up into cow, seated cat and cow. These are nice things you could add on to your morning before you get out of bed. You're sitting on the couch or Scrolling on Facebook, looking for yoga memes to share with me. More. Wonderful. Let's make our way to all fours. Hands will come forward. Take those feet back. Make your way to your all fours so that we can move through our cat and cow on our knees. Now some space between our knees. Exhaling into our cat. Inhaling into cow. One vertebrae at a time. One breath at a time, one moment at a time. What about 10 more of those? A great attitude becomes a great day, which becomes a great month, which becomes a great year, which becomes a great life. Last one, we'll do some hip circles, figure eight. So our left hip will go out, back towards the heel. We'll come back to neutral, other side. Take it out to the side and come to neutral. And then the other side, you're reaching back. Creating a little circle on either side. We've got lizard pose to look forward to today. Bird of paradise. Modifications, of course. Maybe a crow and uh, a malasana or a big squat, an option for our crow and our jump back. 
Last one, taking it to child's pose or downward facing dog. Whatever feels nice for you, you can massage your forehead down on the mat. Or moving up into downward facing dog, pedaling the feet, pressing the earth away equally with both of our hands, feeling optimistic today. We'll inhale back to all fours. Exhale either back to down dog or to child's pose. And we'll move through that flow now, actually through the three. Inhaling all fours, exhaling child's pose or down dog. Inhaling up, back to down dog or child's pose. So going between those three poses, always inhaling to come to all fours. And exhaling, choosing either downward dog or child's pose. You can mix it up if you want to. Listen to the body, do what feels good. Our opportunity to warm up, to connect with the breath. All right, we'll meet in our child's pose or downward dog to flow through our half series. We inhale forward into a full or kneeling plank. Exhale down to the belly, you're halfway up dog or cobra. Back to the belly or down dog. Then we press away and back. Flowing on your own, inhaling forward. Exhaling halfway or all the way. Or maybe there's another vinyasa that you practice that you wanna to try today. Wherever you are, just moving with your breath. Honoring your body today on your journey of wellness, wherever it may be. Last one. We'll make our way to all fours. For spinal balance with our right arm reaching forward, left foot back, just gonna kick the tree, and then opening up out to the side. Back to center and down. Inhale, extension. Exhale, open. Inhale, extend. Exhale, down. Long necks as we look down at our mat. And if we feel a little bit like the back hurts today, you could do a tap in front, tap to the side, in front and back. See how the hips are doing. Last one. We'll take our right foot now to the outside of our right hand. So it's on the outside and we'll shift forward. So let's walk that foot a little bit up so that we make sure our knee doesn't go in front of our, our heel and then shift back. We can keep our hands to the inside of that foot. Preparing our, our hip later for our lizard pose. A couple options. Warming it up. Last one, sweep that foot back. Bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Shift forward and back. Maybe noticing if one side feels looser than the other or tighter than the other. We're not judging it, of course, just noticing. Last one. Wonderful. Take it to child's pose. Put the hands up. Let's tuck our, our hands together. Take it behind our back or our neck and give our neck a little massage with our thumbs. Bringing our hands forward again, inhaling to all fours, exhaling downward facing dog. Looking up between the hands, let's bring the right foot up between the hands. Rise up into our lunge on a breath in and breathe out back to downward facing dog. Left foot coming up between the hands, rising up to our lunge, exhaling to downward facing dog or child pose. 
stepping, walking, or jumping our feet up between the hands. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. So we flow into our halfway lift now. It feels okay. We've got some space between our feet, a nice strong mountain foundation. Using our strength of our core to draw us up and roll the shoulders away from the ears. more. Inhaling to chair. Exhaling forward fold. Flowing on your own now. Inhaling chair. Exhaling forward fold. Sitting back and then straightening the legs. On our next one, we'll inhale to chair, exhale to mountain pose, coming up, and then inhale our flowing mountain. Exhale. There's fans around. If anyone gets too hot, feel free to be in charge of a fan near you if you'd like. Wonderful. Let's turn this in to a flow where we go about a quarter of the way down, but lift our heels. Looking over the edge of our mat. Strong belly to hold us here. Heels go down, we inhale, up, exhale, look. look. Inhale up. A few more of those. Feeling optimistic. Filled with some enthusiasm for our life. And focusing on progress this morning. Last one. Bring our hands to our heart, stepping our left foot back. We'll turn our toes out. Inhale, rise up right into our sunflower today with the hinge down, really warming up the hips. Inhale up, exhale down. They are cooking something downstairs. Holy. I don't know if you guys saw my post. I finagled us a deal for lunches. If you're part of the Fab 50 plus group, right. you don't have to be 60 to get the 12.95 for the buffet. You, if you're part of this group, you can get it. Can I come on Tuesday? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. You just gotta let me know because you need. I need to tell them who's coming so we can give me a ticket to give you. Well, Tuesdays are lunch days. Okay, cool. I'll hook you guys up if you let me know. I'm here for Tuesday at lunch too. Maybe I'll come join you after. Last one. Enough of those. So we'll straighten out our legs, turn our toes more towards the long edge of our mat, hands to hips, and do a little fold. Let the head be heavy. Let it dangle. Breathe. Feel. Listen. Let's walk our hands over to our right foot. All the way over to my left. Bring it back to center. And halfway up, maybe hands to the mat or to our hips, whatever works. Bending our knees, rising up into goddess pose, finding some space between our, our um, elbows. Breathe. And extending the legs. Let's turn back up to the tops of our mats. Time to move on to our sun salutations. Nothing crazy today, but next week we're gonna, um, for this class, I mean, we practice the uh, Surya Namaskara B, so the second one. It's a little bit more intense than the one do we usually do. First the first one is one that we uh, do usually. Yes, it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Stella, <laughs> Stella's like, no. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I promise. Optimist. I'm optimistic. Thank you. Optimism. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Big breath up. Exhale. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Fold again. Breathe out. Bending our knees. Left foot lunging back. Inhale to lunge. Our back heel is high. Exhaling to down dog or child's pose. 
staying here or we'll flow through our half series forward halfway all the way down into our up dog or cobra shine the chest exhale down dog or child's pose looking up between the hands bringing the left foot up between the hands rise to lunge breathe in exhale to fold push off your back foot make sure you anchor through the front one halfway lift fold exhale inhale sweep to sky exhale to chair all the way back up maybe those thumbs touch exhale to mountain and really engage your mountain feel the strength of your legs inhale sweep exhale dive halfway lift breathing in Fold and breathing out, bending our knees, right foot back, rise to lunge, inhale, exhale to downward dog or child's pose. You can choose to rest or we'll flow, inhale forward, halfway all the way, up dog or cobra, stretch the back, leading back and down dog, child's pose. We'll bring the right foot up between the hands. Rise to lunge, inhale, great job everybody. At home and here, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sitting back into your chair pose. Back up, breathe in. Exhale to mountain. We've got two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift, hold, left foot back, big strong lunge as you take the whole inhale to come up, downward dog. Folding or flowing. Meeting back and down dog or child's pose, left foot up between the hands, rise to lunge. Exhale, fold, let the head be heavy. We're looking back behind us, halfway lift, looking in front of us, strong neck. Fold again, inhale all the way up. Exhale to chair, back up, breathe in. Exhale, find that nice strong mountain. Let's roll those shoulders back and down. Make sure we have lots of time to get through these fun poses. All right, so a little bit of balance too, just because I know it's icy, so we're do a little bit of work for our, for our balance. We want to just not slip out in the parking lot. Let's lift our right foot, right knee up. It's called half goddess. So our knee goes out and our arms go into goddess arms. Breathe. There's a softness in our, in our left knee. Bring that knee in front and straighten our leg. Try to engage our quadricep to hug onto our kneecap. You can reach your arms up if you'd like to. And then a, a half warrior three. So we hinge about a quarter of the way down. Breathe. Our hips are still relatively square towards the mat. They don't have to be, but that right hip is an opening. It's kind of pointing down towards the mat. All right, let's step that right foot back. So your left knee's up at the top of your mat. And grab your strap, sorry about that. On a band, use whatever you have at home. All right, so our left knee is bending, and we're bringing our arms back behind us for our warrior two at first, like so. Amazing. I hope you can see well. I'm going to go this way so that everyone can see my back. Just skip right through and take our your left hand, your left elbow down, and drop that strap back behind you. And then the top hand, so the, the back of your top hand goes back to touch your back. So 
So that strap is still kind of dangling down somewhere over here. So this top hand is bent. Yeah, amazing. And then your bottom hand will be reaching through to grab your strap, where we want to make sure it's not way back here. It's underneath our, our thigh, and we open up our chest. We're trying to warp our hands as close as we can together. Maybe some of you can bring them together. Our chest is open towards that long wall. And the back hand is the one we're reaching for? Like, are we reaching for the back hand? Too? Yeah, you're, you're reaching for your hand on your back. Sorry, I just walked out kind of me. You're reaching for your hand on your, I mean, I don't think I can get it together. Like so, but our straps are here to help us today. So you can stay there everybody or walk your back foot up behind your front foot. I know, optimism. So our top hand is, our top elbow is bent on your back. Okay, so now we're moving into Bird of Paradise. So your front foot, most likely your left, just play around with lifting the heel. Lifting it up and down. And then if you want to try Bird of Paradise, you lift the whole leg, straighten out your right leg. You open up into Bird of Paradise. So you're lifting your front leg off the mat with your strap underneath your leg. I wish I could come around and give you guys assist, but I'm not allowed. So this strap, just make sure it's not over here. <laughs> it's on that side of your backside. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Bruno's got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the other, the top hand, when I got myself messed up there. So our hand's not on our back, anymore, on our sides. Wrap it around. Oh, no, I'm yeah. still kind of on your back. Yeah. Yeah. So, this so this, you're. I think you have to come. Oh, I got it wrapped around. Just fine. We're going to we'll try it on the other side, right? Optimism, everybody. Let's try it on the other side. I hope everyone did good at home or felt good about that one. So think about where you are in this post today, right? And we're working on progression. So we'll try it on the other side. Our right foot is forward. Maybe I'll just show you real quick before you get into it. Bend. And I'm dropping this one back behind me with my top hand. So you don't have to do it right now if you don't want to. And the other hand reaches to the inside. Grabs the strap. So some of us had the strap down here. You want it in front of your bent knee, under your bent knee. And then once you get there, your back foot, so your left foot, because in this pose, our right foot is, okay, everybody, your right knee's bending. Yeah, for this one, right? Yeah. There we go. And we'll bring our back foot in so your left foot comes up behind your right foot. We've got our strap underneath and we lift up into Bird of Paradise. It's totally me. And then the instructor, I should get you in. Let's try one more time. Take your straps. Take your right foot forward towards me. Step your left foot back. Heel down. Bend your right knee. Now just keep your strap in your left hand. Don't even worry about this right hand. Okay? And just let's just drop it right in our back right now. Yeah, there we go. So there it is, straps hanging down. And we want it to kind of be hanging in front of this leg, our bent right knee. Yeah, so the back, you're hanging it down your back, behind your bent front knee, then your other hand reaches under your right knee and grabs the strap. Our, our elbow is down here. Wonderful, there we go, we open up the chest. 
Amazing. Okay, so let's bring our left foot up behind the right foot. Still bend your right knee. So you can stay right here or use your strap and the, your core strength to lift you up. It's a bird of paradise. I know it's an awkward pose, but it's a good one. And you see it all the time on yoga journal. They've got their foot right beside their face. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is just, this is our, our starting point. And maybe we try to bend and straighten our leg. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, got it. And release. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we, we added in a new post to add into our practice today. Hope you guys like that one at home. And now we're gonna go down onto the mat a little bit to do lizard, a little bit of lizard action. Big breath up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Stepping or jumping back to your plank pose. Full or kneeling plank. If you have a block, let's actually grab a block, bring it up to the front of your mat. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so our left foot your left foot will come to the outside of your left hand. If it takes time, that's okay. Just walk it on up there. Walk the foot up. Let's all drop our back knee for this one and come down into lizard, which is here. This is why you have your block. because Maybe you want to put, just work towards coming down with the forearms on the mat. Or maybe, one elbow wants to come down and the other one doesn't. So you can prop up whichever one doesn't want to come down. Actually, I don't think I showed, did I show you this one on Monday? No, okay. Okay. So we can stay in this, this can be lizard. This can be the most amazing lizard I thought you've ever seen. Or we're, I know you're gonna love this. Okay, so bring your left hand under. Make a little shelf. Like a lizard. Like a little lizard. So we've got our left tricep kind of tucked underneath our left thigh, and that can be enough. Or if you wanna try something today, walk your foot till it comes off the mat. <laughs> Great work. Bring it back, walk it back in, take your hand out. Let's do our little lizard on the other side. Sweep it back. So there's lots of ways to get into it and to and stay you know, in it. Could you walk your hand forward? So you're, I'll, I'll show, because I think that at home too, so we see the angle from this angle. This hand, if you bring it down, you, it still wants to be bent. So you're just bending it under, like so. And then we're trying to create a shelf so that one day we can like do like a, some kind of, something like that, right? With this back foot up, but we're not there yet. Okay, so bring your right foot forward, shift into that hip flexor stretch, and you can stay right there if that feels good for you. Or come down to a block on your forearms, or not. So we wanna bring our left hip closest to the mat as we can, and then we slide this elbow under, trying to make a little shelf. We're looking forward, lengthening our neck, and if you want to, we're bringing our yeah. foot up off the mat. <laughs> Great work. Stretch the same. Which one? Yeah. So I think the left leg is supposed to be stretched out. Yeah, your left. So your left, um, Bruno, make sure this hip, because if you, you're, up, you're up here, shift this one forward to get you a little bit closer to the mat. Yeah, yeah, see? Hey, well, that's a good stretch, isn't yeah. it? Great job, everybody at home. Make it to child's pose. Take oh, a little breather. <laughs> Take a little breather. <laughs> Lots of hip love today. I don't have my watch is broken, so I gotta keep checking my phone. Sorry. All right, let's look forward at our hands, and we're gonna go into a squat pose. So you still have your block there. One foot up. Other foot up. Oh no. <laughs> and our block under our backside. If that doesn't feel nice for your um, your hips. Nice and strong. Yeah. 
Malasana. Garland pose or uh, like just a big squat pose. Okay. Well, I need to grab another block for my face or I'll lose that. I know where she's going. You know where I'm going with this. Yeah, okay, go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mom, so Jan, you have to do the opposite. Yeah, yeah. So you can keep it here. here. Or if, if crow is part of your practice or you want to try it today, look forward, squeeze your legs onto your elbows, but you have to bend your elbows and look forward. Come there. Or if you're just practicing today, you just cat back, lift your heels, look forward. Cat back, lift your heels, look forward without falling forward. And just play around with that for a minute. I know we tried on Monday, the new bus, for our jump back, so we can try that again. You go into your crow and will your core to jump your feet back. Yeah. Oh. You take it really wide or even go into your crow here, guys, without even taking your feet off. Step one foot back, step the other foot back. You want to. Oh, once you're in oh, crow, you're it. jumping back? Yeah, yeah I'm jumping. Yeah. yeah, so we do our crow. I don't know if I can do it twice. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't have the arm strength. Okay, great job, everybody. Amazing work, everybody at home. Good job. Okay, let's go. Let's take it down. Let's get our wrists in order. If it doesn't feel good for your knees, then you can be in your crisscross. Let's tuck our thumbs in. Make some rotations. Whew. Hot, but we're warm. All right, we'll put our hands down. Down. Side to side. If anyone wants to do hero pose while we're here, we don't do that a lot. Um, if, if it's hard on your knees, put a block back here. <laughs> Not that angle. <laughs> and then we sit back into hero pose. So if you're taking care of your knees, you're not going to want to do this pose. So have it right under your backside if possible. <laughs> our fingertips can point towards our, our toes so that we can open up our chests and stretch our quadriceps. Amazing. All right, bring it forward. Take a seat. Great job, everybody. Working on our optimism today. We've got a few more pose, uh, a few more poses to go through. Progress over perfection. That's that's the focus of, of uh, I don't know, life. <laughs> Lift it up nice and strong into our boat. We can have our hands here. Or you could have a block here, whatever you want to. Opening across our chest, modifications, it feels better to put your feet down. Of course, put your feet down, especially if you feel like you're sinking and rounding out. So we want to keep a straightness to our back. Use a lot of your deep transverse abdominal muscles for that crow pose. So you're probably feeling it now. Soles of the feet come together. Let's grab our wonderful toes, take a little hinge forward. This does not feel good, so you can elevate your hips on a bolster, put blocks underneath your knees. Walk our hands back up, take our block back behind us. Our revolved butterfly, so our right hand comes to our right knee. Our left hand goes back behind us, opening up across the heart. Breathe. Try to let those legs relax a little bit. Optimism flowing through us today, for the rest of the day, for the rest of our week. Get that energy out into the world. Let the hips relax. All 
way over to the other side. You can use your, your block at the back, especially if your hand doesn't quite come down to the mat to keep the length in the spine. If it's too intense for the knees, you could do just a crisscross position instead. Breathe, feel, listen. Bring our noses around. Let's take our feet out wide for a wide leg forward fold. Your block is really helpful here too. Again, maybe for your forearms, if they're, if they're almost to the floor in some way, somewhere where you can release a bit of the weight of the body down towards the mat. Let's turn our soles of our feet towards the floor for a few breaths, stretching in front of our legs. Breathe. Couple quotes as we hang out here. This one's from the Dalai Lama. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. Let's turn our toes back up, sink a little deeper if that feels a little better or not. Martin Luther King said, we must accept finite disappointment, but we must never lose infinite hope. Walk it on up, we'll bend our left knee. You put your block under it if that feels a little bit better and reach for our right foot. Move over to the sides. Breathe. So think of bringing your right side of your body towards your right quadricep. Stretching our mid back here. Really good for our posture. All the way up and over to the other side for 10 breaths. Bend. Reach our left foot. I mean, our left hand for our left foot. You can hold the outside or the inside. Maybe even if you wanted to put your thumb down or thumb up on the outside. Reach up long. Bringing our left rib cage, rib side towards our left leg. Keeping our chest open, maybe looking under our elbow or just making sure that chest is open. We're tucking your top arm back behind you and just using gravity to bring you a little bit closer. So we'll walk it up and bring our body back up. Wonderful. Time to roll back. Before you roll back, I'll show you. Uh, Supine pigeon that we're doing. It's also known as figure four. It's just a little bit hard for me to cue. It's gonna look like this. So we can even do it now before we roll back. Let's put our, our left ankle on our right knee. Grab behind our right thigh. So one hand goes through the window of our legs. So your left hand. Yeah. Make sure you've got some space. There's no blocks behind you. Our core to slowly lower us down onto the mat, keeping our feet flexed and strong. Breathe. Everyone's doing okay at home. Feel that optimism. Our twist today a little bit different. Right now, you've got your left foot on top of your right knee. We're going to take your left foot down towards the right side of your mat and tuck it underneath your knee, your right knee. So you're leaning, you're leaning over towards your right side, tucking that left foot under your right knee. 
and opening up our wings into a twist. Honoring our body. If something isn't feeling good today, we're right. You can use do our regular twist. All the way over to well, our figure four first. So we come back to regular, put our left foot on the mat and cross our right ankle over our left knee. Lift up our left foot off the mat. And we can reach through that window for our figure four on the other side. So you're reaching for the back of your left leg. Quieting the mind by focusing on the sensations in the body. By focusing and feeling the breath in its entirety. We've got our right foot on top of our left knee. Now we'll be taking that right foot towards the left side of your mat and tucking it under the knee. We move into our twist on the other side. Breathe. Opening wide across the chest, anchoring our shoulder blades down. And there for about 15 breaths. And Frank said how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. From here, we'll draw our knees into our chest just one more time. Take a little rock side to side and we'll be making our way into our Shavasana today. Did a lot of big stuff, new things. So you can extend your legs long or slide a block or a bolster underneath your knees. Grab an eye cover. If anyone would like an eye cover, please raise your hand and I'll bring you one settled in at home. Settle the weight down into the earth. Absolutely. Start to notice the truth. <laughs> An overall softening starting to happen in our body. A releasing of tension down into the earth. Release the tension down and allow the energy of the earth to come back to you. A little exchange today. Our meditation practice today, focusing on gratitude. Focusing today on optimism, and we'll shift a little to gratitude. Take a moment to make any last minute adjustments. Feel the breath flowing in and flowing out, softening your faces and allowing your jaw to relax. Softening your eyes and relax the shoulders. Let your entire body feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. 
Continue to breathe and let any distracting thoughts float away. Feel gratitude for your family and your friends, for their love and support, however it is given. Feel gratitude for the community that surrounds and supports you throughout your life. Everyone from your grocer, your hairstylist, your dentist, your doctor, your yoga instructor, your neighbors, <laughs> your co-workers, teachers. And think of a person maybe that serves you your favorite treat. Let your heart expand today to include family, friends, and community. Gently breathe in and as you exhale, allow your hips to soften and relax. If it feels nice, you can rock them back and forth to release any tension in any way that feels right. Feel gratitude for your creative mind for your dreams, desires, and the passions that inspire you to feel deeply. Inhale, feeling your belly expand. Exhale, letting your belly relax and soften towards your spine. Feel gratitude for the food that nourishes you and keeps you strong. Feel gratitude for your sense of self that defines who you are and allows you to serve the world in your special way. Soften your ribs, your back, and the area that surrounds your heart. Feeling your heart expand as you feel gratitude for the beauty of nature all around you, for the snow, for the trees, the plants, and flowers, for the creatures that share our beautiful worlds, we are grateful. Relax your shoulders, soften your arms from your shoulders all the way down to your fingertips. Swallow and relax your jaw, your tongue, your mouth, and your cheeks. Feel gratitude for the gift of communication and all the ways that you express yourself and share your story with the world. Soften your eyes and your forehead. Allow the forehead to be free and beautiful. Feel gratitude for your intuition. The little voice inside that guides you on the right path. Feel gratitude for all the times you have listened and tuned into this wisdom from within. Soften the top of your head and sense the connection around you through, the, through your breath. Feel connected to those around you and to something larger than yourself. Feel gratitude for the connection that makes you whole and complete. For the next few moments, feeling a deep sense of peace and contentment surrounding you.
when you're ready. And open our eyes, make some small movements to our hands and our feet. Moving our wrists around, our, our, our ankles, our toes. Small movements to the small joints. Moving our head side to side, waking up our neck. Rolling over onto one side, take your time getting there. Once you're there, take in another big, beautiful breath that feels okay. And then using your top and pushing it down into the earth, helping your way up. We'll relax our shoulders down back where we started our practice feeling of optimism flowing through us today for the rest of our day and week. Let's take a big breath up, inhale, draw our hands down towards our heart center. And a few more breaths, really feel the air on your skin, notice it, exhale, let the air leave the body. One more big breath. How about if it feels okay for you today? I do hope you enjoyed your practice today. Um, namaste. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your day. Namaste, everybody at home. So nice to see you all.